Hi everyone, good afternoon. My name is Sheetal Gurung and I am here to lead the last episode of Ask Me Anything for 2022. So please join me in and I have already received two amazing questions and um, you know, I'll uh, go ahead and answer the first one. So hi, everybody who is joining in. So the first question that I've received is from Anita. And Anita shares that I'm looking at the question that she sent. So Anita shares um, she has just sold some property. And then she's looking at what is it that she can do to manage her money. So usually when we talk about properties, and we're talking about a large sum of money that she has received. And a couple of things that come to my mind are, one, we would definitely look at how do I safeguard the money that I have received? That would be a question. And number two, uh, how do I uh, reinvest the money so I I, um, see my wealth growing? So that's, these are the two points that come to my mind. And um, um uh, and also uh, the third, i think the third question that people have is generally if i have made gains on the investment that i made on the property that i just sold then how do i save taxes so these are some uh, you know three things that come to my mind and um uh, first thing i will talk about is when it comes to um, what do I do with the gains that I've made? Then I have also, um, you know, looked at it. So we are looking at um, saving on the taxes. So if it is a property that I have sold after being, after holding that property for a long time, then the long-term capital gains would be applicable on that. And um, generally it is, uh, to save on these taxes, the expectation is that one, if you're thinking of either uh, buying another property and then you invest in it, then there are some tax exemptions that you get. Or if you're looking at reconstructing a property, then there are some other tax exemp- exemptions that you get. But a more common is for people to reinvest the funds into ca- capital gains uh, capital gain bonds, right? So there are a number of, uh, these are also known as 54 EC bonds. And that is something that Anita could consider if she is not looking at investing, reinvesting that money in a property right away. Uh, so checking out 54 EC bonds, Anita, would uh, could be meaningful for you uh, as a way of also saving taxes and then investing some that money in some safe instruments so that the, you continue to generate some return on it okay and some some of the common bonds that are there are um, you know which are issued the eligible bonds under section 54 ec that are issued to be considered could be the power finance uh, corporation limited there is the nhai bonds that's the national highways authority of india uh, there is also rec bonds that you could consider or R I R F C. Indian Railways Finance Corporation Limited. So these are, they usually, these bonds usually come with a lock-in of about five years. Okay. Um, Yeah, but they have not as high uh, returns that you can expect, lower returns, but your capital is safe. You save on the the taxes as well, and there is some growth that you can get. Um, So so that's, these are some things that I would say. Then, um, and then the next part is if you are someone who's also looking at wealth creation, then educating yourself on, um, if you don't know already, then educating yourself on various um, equity investments to invest the money that you've received over a period of time would be another good way to go. So a uh, good way to really take charge of your finances and be independently investing your money and seeing it grow. So if it, reinvesting in a property isn't the um, something you're looking at, then these are some options you could consider. Okay, And you could find more information. You can read up more on 99acres.com. Um, you know, if you, I think that will be a good resource as well. So... Thank you, Anita, so much for the question. And now the next question that I have received, and to answer this question, I would invite Priyanka. 
So, hi everyone who is joining. Please stay tuned for the last question for Ask Me Anything uh, for 2022. So, I'm going to Okay. okay, bringing Priyanka. Okay, okay. Priyanka. It seems I'm learning. I'm still learning how to run Insta Live. <laughs> You're learning how to how to <laughs> receive and accept an invitation. You've given, you've sent so many invitations. <laughs> you know, today you are a guest on my Ask Me Anything <laughs> show. Do you know that? Okay. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome, Priyanka. So I think this last question is so amazing. And um, thank you, Suma Ayal, for sending this question. Um, and so glad that Priyanka uh, has given us uh, her time to answer this. Oh, important, really? Thank you. <laughs> important question. So the question has come from Suma Ayal, Priyanka. And the Question is, you have been on a mission of building 50 lakh financially educated women by 2030. And, uh, you know, challenges are really common when you're out on such a big mission. So her question to you is, what, are, what have been some challenges and how have you dealt with them while being on this mission? Got it. What a great question to end 2022 yeah. with, yeah? Yeah. Um, and I would, I would just alter this question a little. What are the challenges we've faced? So Sheetal, you and I have been in the journey together for a very long time. So today, let's sum up our challenges. I mean, as many of them as we can remember, at least in the short time. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I may have begun, you know what, one thing I want to definitely say to everybody watching us live and watching the video. We may have found, Praveen and I may have founded Women on Well, but Sheetal has been so instrumental in growing it with us um, and, and our community members. So, you know, we can't say that, okay, Priyanka, what are the challenges you face? I'm altering it to say, what are the challenges we face? Because we really face them on a daily basis. Initially, the challenge was women really act accepting the concept of financial education. I mean, I remember 2011 when we started, we didn't have even one woman sign up for our course because troll for women and they were like, what are you talking about? So, you know, th those are the times I remember. Th these times are very different. 11 years in, ending 2022, we're getting into the 12th year of Women on Wealth. And I remember that first, even the second year, we didn't have anyone. Let me tell you. Not even one sign up into the course. And <clears throat> those were the times when women didn't accept that, yes, you know, we need to take charge. We need to do something. We, we can't be dependent. I mean, nothing wrong in being dependent. But... Um, yeah, if you want to be independent, you see the advantages to it, then, you know, we wanted to establish ourselves as a platform. We were the first one getting in. And um, so that was the first challenge we faced, acceptance from our own women saying, yeah, I want to take charge. So that's where the challenges began. And then, yes, the second challenge was, you know, sustaining the education. I mean, we all can run, you know, like can do these training programs, but then we go back to our old habits. We don't sustain, manage to sustain what we've learned. That has been a challenge and because of which community got built. And Sheetal, you were around when we built the community. Yeah, You faced that challenge personally, uh, that you learned everything. You became debt free. You came out of living paycheck to paycheck. You did all the investments and then... You know, you, you fell off track and uh, and we built the community. So, you know, and, the, and today if you see community is the heart of our work. We're not really into financial education as we say. We, you know, what what we are is a community of women investors. Yeah, Kavleen is saying, I joined in 2016. I remember the one-on-one -on -one classes. Absolutely, Kavleen. So we go back together many, many years, right? So absolutely, Kavleen. And um, that was the second challenge I remember. The third I remember is 
people not getting the mission people think so what i mean financial education ho jayega so what so what i mean even till now you know it's only one in eight indian women who are taking charge of their finances i mean the gender wealth gap still exists women are still retiring with 33% lesser wealth than men despite being at same position similar income so i mean i am i am not an advocate of feminism anyways but mm-hmm. definitely i come from a space that hey can we really um you know talk about equity can we really come from building about the balance because if women are being left out we're not growing as a country and our generations are not growing i mean how come you know we have the next generation coming with financial regrets i think that's that's my next challenge that hey you know can we be the last generation with financial regrets can we pass on financial skills and you know and and be the last generation who regretted anything around finance can we have young people be educated women be educated and them going ahead um training people in their lives yeah. so yeah these are some of the challenges and yes new more challenges are women not getting the social impact of our work looking at us as you know um you know look looking at us from all this competition that exists people might be running courses guys but are they running a community that you can be a part of for the rest of your lives you know one of our team member says she says product wo kharidna chahiye jiski after sale service bahut achhi ho so you can you know buy something but then what about the after sales and here we are sitting with after sale saying hey buddy we are a community can you join us uh, be benefited for the rest of your life because i was saying your community really helps to talk layman like us about finance i'm really enjoying that with the new friends i made in the community oh. and guru saiba yeah i'm i'm you know i'm feeling privileged that you joined us in 2022 that is mm. saying what wonderful questions are coming in yes yeah chidal what about you what are the mm. challenges you can remember uh well there are many and uh, but i think one moment that i go back to is you know uh it was earlier this year priyanka when we are really looking and putting all our resources and our energy together uh to grow and build and remember the time when our instagram got hacked <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah how can i forget that yes, yes. and uh, and then you know it takes time to build such platforms and then to create content and put the message out there and then somebody just comes in and then you know hacks it uh so our reputation is at stake because then there are uh, messages going out which aren't from us um then you know we are trying to retrieve what we have built and then we are dealing with uh, one is so that you know unnecessary messages are not going out so you know how to protect ourselves our what we have built how to protect the community from that impact how to rebuild everything you know so i think that is certainly something that i go back to and also uh, at the face of it all uh, learning that okay we can be uh, we 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 even if we don't want to we depend on technology we depend on these public platforms but then there now we need to build new systems in place new infrastructure that could also protect what we have built so that was a whole new learning and a and an, another emotional ride that we had to go through right um, so so that was that is another quite quite a recent challenge that i uh, yeah. that i uh, yeah and remember. you know this this reminds this reminds me of a woman who called me and my goodness she gave me such and i'm not used to people talking with me in high pitches you know Hmm. I mean I respect myself so much that uh, I build those boundaries with people and people don't talk with me like that and whatever messages people were receiving one of this woman called me and she was yelling at me and I I was like hey I don't deserve this <laughs> yeah so those are the challenges to as much people love us there are some people who will also hate us yeah. and I think yeah that's that's also another challenge 
Yes. You know, yeah, people people not getting people not getting who we are, the heart we come from. Mm. Yeah. The the love that we bring to this work. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, there's there's an emotional side to it, there's a financial side to it, there is the team side to it. Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah. Definitely. You know when I'm looking back now and I'm not just looking at uh, 2022 I'm looking back decades because with every year that goes by at women on wealth I look at all these years that have gone by and I notice a very different priyanka and I you know I I sit across and I think hey he's a different person I'm I am so yeah yeah I think challenges are good that's that's also another thing that's showing up for me our challenges are good and I'm so glad she tell you reminded me of this one challenge yeah are there any other that you can remember um uh, i i don't know i think i think now any challenge also we have gotten used to it or we welcome challenges uh, so i am not able to pinpoint at any one or two significant ones because again uh can't make them so significant right because we have we know that we are just going to keep moving on so i think i'm not giving significance to whatever challenges uh, i have seen to really have them even come out and say you know yeah that was one big challenge uh, maybe no, no challenges big and we know that there will be challenges i think that's the state of mind i am in at this point yeah what about you yeah, like- more Yeah like one of the challenges i can really see myself facing right now is we've set 50 lakh women by 2030 financially educated and yeah i feel challenged we've made a difference to 4000 in the last 11 years how are we making 50 lakh happen mm. every day i wake up and i'm at it mm. i'm at it till i sleep um that's that that's i think a big challenge and um, yeah we will we eat day together you and i you know and with the community we're working together mm. to see how we can really grow this mission and and impact a lot more people definitely before i die mm-hmm. yeah. that's, that's what it is yeah i think the other challenge i experience is priyanka and i'm sure you do too that um that the mission seems long right <laughs> years are passing by 2022 didn't seem so long you know 2021 didn't seem so long but uh, the mission seems too long we see, i still feel that we are really really far away um so that's how i feel uh, that it's a really really long mission and then how do you just keep showing up and not not give up hope that it's going to happen Yeah, I deal with right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's it's a really long haul. Yeah, and we got to we got to really stick around for it to happen. Yeah, mm. absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, you know what what I see is all these challenges also grow us to be yeah. the people whom we wanted to be. Mm. There's also yeah. something. It's a big, big, big upside. So. Yeah, yeah, and when I'm looking back at 2022 right now the challenges we faced this year together have been really unique. Oh yes. So yeah. Yeah, that's where it is. So yeah, yeah, that's that's it. That's it for me. Absolutely. And I think uh, together we can express our gratitude to all the challenges that came our way that um reinforce the mission in us that uh, we stand here we stand strong and our community stands strong uh, and we continue to just forge ahead so thank you for yeah. thank you for all the leadership that you provide you lead by example and um you know you you continue to inspire me and the entire team and all the women who are who are watching us from afar So thank you so much for being the woman you are and uh, and and just being here being here yeah you, we stand strong cuz you know you lead it that way so thank you
and and i want to i want to alter it again i don't lead it we lead it together i i can't do anything without you yeah it's like it's like if i don't have my right arm you know i can't i can't do anything it's like that it's like that so yeah yeah i stand strong because you stand strong beside me leading with me this mission forward so yeah really really standing in the acknowledgement of who you are and what you bring each day each night because for you and me i know time doesn't matter <laughs> and guru sai bhai saying <laughs> your challenge is something that like <laughs> yeah this no day there no night yeah say guru sai bhai saying your challenge is something i surely can do it mm. sure otherwise you wouldn't have thought about it yeah i mean guru sai bhai we are here if we can do this we can we can really do anything is how i see it we built it from scratch to where it is and we're going to take it forward so thank you thank you sheetal for who you are and thanks to our community which really moved the mission forward in 2022 looking forward to seeing you guys in new year 2023 and marching ahead towards the mission sheetal over to you absolutely thank you so much thank you so much have a great day thank you everybody for the love and support gursaiba and everybody who's joined in rajesh takur okay <laughs> <laughs> yes sora pop love okay i know who you are nidhi diksha shweta and everybody else thank you have a blast guys and uh, have a great time make a lot of lovely memories and uh, get all, get set for a rocking 2023 is going to be better than 2022 okay so thank you for all the love take care bring a go have fun okay yes and lots Loads of, of love, love everyone to, lots of love Bye -bye. to revere <laughs> Okay. Yes bye 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 thank, thank you, you.